Hi, Mike Kennedy with you. This is a spoiler for Alone Season 6, the finale. So do not watch if you haven't watched that last one. I thought it was interesting. We went down to three people. And uh, I think this is the first time a woman made it to the second position. Okay, and so we have these three guys. Interesting, both are using gill nets under the ice. One person is being successful and the other person isn't. So, you know, in large, I think that's, uh, you know, affected things quite a bit. But, you know, they're in these shelters. They're in the Arctic. The shelters are built out of wood. And uh, here we go, we're, you know, a day 70 something, and uh, one of the guys, his shelter catches on fire. So, you know, he, he manages to get his, uh, it's the camera out. I don't know if the cameras were set up outside or not. Kind of suspicious when you see things like that. But he gets his camera, the satellite phone, an axe, sleeping bag, and I think he had his bow and arrow. Maybe the, some of those things, you know, those were outside of the shelter maybe. But so basically here it is like one o'clock in the morning and uh, he's doing something with his, with the fire and the sh shelter catches on fire burns to the ground in a half an hour but during that time he's using the fire to keep warm he uh, he calls back and of course now you know this is winter so there could have been ice so there's no boats that can come in so basically it's uh, they have to get you a helicopter the helicopter isn't gonna fly by night so you know he's stuck there uh, with uh, just with what he has and uh, he's gonna wait till you know, X number of hours, and, but he's got his ax, so he makes a little shelter, and he has a sleeping bag, so, you know, and, you know, it does appear that he keep, you know, probably keeps that fire going a little bit, and using it for warmth, or starting, you know, moving something and making another fire, so he's out, which, you know, like he said, half an hour, uh, the, everything, the effort he put into it to win this prize is gone. Then the woman was kind of interesting. She <coughs> had got to the point where she really felt the idea that her body was being used up and she just wasn't willing to go on any longer. Uh, you know, that uh, all the fat was being eaten up. And she seemed like she survived, you know, at least what they showed us on the clip. She ate a lot of rabbits and squirrels and, you know, uh, rabbits tend to not have enough fat in them and there's actually I didn't realize that they had a name for it but they call it protein poisoning where you eat protein out of balance with how much fat you eat and that isn't good for you and uh, that comes to bear more with the third guy he's the guy that got the moose and you know uh, he's had animals come and rob the, the he separate out a lot of the fat portion and that was something the animals got immediately. And that was like, you know, somewhere between 30,000 and 60,000 calories, which is a big deal. So he's got plenty of meat per se, but he's, st he's still losing weight. Uh, he doesn't feel like he's thinking uh, properly. And, uh, but he's done this thing with the gill net too. We, they made two holes, fished the gill net, weighted gill net, so it's gonna hang under the water like this. And uh, he uh, pulls it up again this last time. Well, the other guy pulls his up and it gets caught, ends up getting ripped and getting basically kind of destroyed. The, the other guy who seems to have a lot of, a lot of skills, the guy that got the moose, uh, he pulls it up and there's this huge, huge, huge fish in it. So he's happy as a clam. And it's kind of funny when, of course, now we have the guy that's gone out uh, that burned his shelter down. We have the woman that's gone out because she's just realized her body's at a point where she doesn't want to continue on. And I can understand that because I know there was one person that said in one of the follow-up shows they have, reunion shows, they were bringing people back to talk about the experience. And one of the women said it took them nine months for their body to get back to where it was supposed to be. So that's that's a significant amount of damage, I would think, that you've done to your body. Uh, and so, uh, 
but this guy uh, there it's kind of funny because he's decided that they're going to pull him he's decided that that's the next thing that's going to happen because he's noticed how much weight he's lost so he gets this fish and he says I'm going to eat every part of fatty part of this fish that I can especially the skin where more of the fat is and everything so he's going to eat this and he's going to He's going to lie to them and tell them how good he's doing when he really isn't doing well at all. Like he's really, he's really thin, he's confused, he's having trouble doing things, but he thinks that he can convince them not to pull him because he's sure the next time they come, they're going to pull him. So sure enough, they come and he's, uh, you know, he's bragging about, he said, well, I feel great. You know, I feel thin, but I, I'm stronger than any thin person I know. And, He's going on with this stuff, which is kind of comical because I know, you know, it's making sense to him, I suppose, but, you know, it doesn't matter to them what he says. If they weigh him and do these other signs, things to him, they would be pulling him, but they're not going to be pulling him for, because he's the last guy. Propane delivery or oil delivery next door. But so, uh, you know, they're filming him and of course, in the background, his wife is sneaking up and then he the wife finally comes into his field of vision and he's like, he like hugs her and he says, we won? <laughs> and he's like, it's kind of funny because he's like happy, but he's like very sedate. Like he's not, like he's not fully aware of what's happened, but you know, he certainly did have uh, the skill set. I mean, and didn't have the mishaps. Obviously he had the, the uh, problems with uh, predators stealing his, his food and stuff, but uh, you know, he he had uh, hunted moose before. He had cut up moose before, with, but not by himself. He had done this and that, and he had quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of real skills. So for him, I think it was just a matter of, uh, you know, all, obviously there's there's luck involved in any of these. I mean, even the place you get put, there's a certain amount of luck to that, whether they're they're resource rich places or not. But uh, you know, he he all he had to do is plod through and and uh he was you know he he appeared to be you know i haven't looked at the pages and looked up everybody's specs and everything but he seemed like he had the biggest skill set that he had done some of these things before so it was uh it was kind of good to see the guy that appeared to have the most skills win and it was too bad the woman uh went out when she did and you know, I'm not faulting her, but it would be nice to see a woman win the competition once. And she was, she was the second one, but uh, where this guy had just gotten another huge fish, and she she tried to break through the ice and just couldn't do it. She didn't have, apparently she didn't have an axe. She had a one of these folding saws, and she was kind of using it, uh, you know, fold it and trying to use it like as a pick to try to go through the ice. And it looked like she had only, she had done it quite a bit, and she'd only gotten six inches down. And of course. You know, you're low in calories, you're weak, and everything like that. So in her case, I don't know if she had an axe or not, but you would, you need, the, the ice had gotten pretty thick. It was certainly over the f four or five inches, it looked like, that would support a 200-pound person. And uh, they mentioned that on a subtitle. So, uh, you know, you needed a significant way to break through the ice. And... Uh, so it was interesting. I enjoyed watching it. Hope they'll have this series will continue. I do like it when they do it this way with just people and not couples and this and that. And uh, it was interesting again. Although, you know, you always kind of wonder, you know, in today's, you know, reality shows, if there is scripted content or not. You wonder if someone's been encouraged to do things or not do things or whatever. But, you know, then you you stop enjoying the show so you just got to watch it and think look at it as a fiction show and enjoy it as much you can and uh, see how people make out bye